Well, this is really exciting. Google Docs has these document tabs and I have been so excited about them. Now they will collapse here on the side. There's so many new features in Google Docs. How do you keep up? Adding these tabs allows you to create different content on each sheet. And I find this a great way to organize all of my information without it being overwhelming. One of the cool things that I've been using recently is the new feature of cover image. I'm gonna go here and upload from my computer. And I'm just gonna grab whatever random thing I have here just so I can be quick. I was looking at some Everfy K-12 free courses today. So I'm able to get that heading on there. Now notice on the second tab, it doesn't have the same heading. I do have the option though to add a cover image and I can just choose one right out there. So now it makes it really easy for me to distinguish between the tabs if I choose a different cover image. Now here's one of the other things I'm really excited about with the new tabs. Now I'm gonna click on these three dots right here. I'm gonna click the three dots and you're gonna notice all of these options that are now here for the tabs. Now those did have most of these weren't there when they first came out with the tab, so I'm really excited about these. One of them is choose emoji. I have been out of control. I am picking emojis for all of my medicine, for all of my tabs, right? And this one maybe is a tutorial, so I'm going to put a pencil. Now, when I click on these three dots, you notice I have the two tabs. I have the option to rename, so I'm going to rename this tutorial. But honestly, you don't have to use the three dots to rename it. You can just double click on the tab and I'm gonna put um, drug safety. Now, if I use the three dots, I can choose to move into. So it's gonna create a sub tab within the tab. Now here's an important thing to know is that you can link to a specific tab. So I'm gonna click on that three dots again. And if I copy link, when someone goes to that link, they're gonna to go to that specific tab. So now when you're sharing your Google Doc, really think about, do you want to have just a quick share copy link? That copy link is gonna bring them to whatever you have as the first tab. Now you can drag the tabs around. Now notice I'm gonna add a bunch of tabs. Notice that when I drag this, it's actually gonna drag all of the sub tabs, three dots, add a sub tab, I'm gonna choose an emoji on this, and I'm gonna choose an emoji on this one. Let's get uh, something fun in here, some parachuting maybe. So now I can collapse all the tab, the sub tabs within the tab, and then when I drag it around, the sub tabs drag with it. So it makes it really easy to create resources and you can figure out what order that you want them to appear in. Now you can collapse and hide the tabs and that could be dangerous, right? When you invite somebody into your Google Doc, do they see that there's multiple tabs there? You know, sometimes what I wanna do is on my first tab, I call it, I'm just gonna double click, call it welcome, drag it up to the top. Of course, I'm gonna choose an emoji, I'm waving, okay? Notice the document tabs. And I'm gonna make this not normal text, but title. I want it to be really big. I actually will usually make this first tab here not my content. My first tab is more like, hey, notice there are document tabs on the left. You can use the view menu so you can collapse the tabs and show them. So if you're not seeing them, make sure that you see all of the tabs. And I create a little note here to direct them to what they're gonna look like on the side. So I don't put any content on that first sheet. I put a warning. And of course I wanna insert a cover image. I'll choose from stock images. There we go. I'll put a cover image on that. I do like to have a different cover image on each tab to make it really obvious that I'm on a separate page. The other thing that I wanna do on my tabs is I wanna make sure that I'm using headings. So I'm gonna do heading one, thing I'm talking about, here is some content, and then here is more about that. I'm gonna make it normal text up in the toolbar. I'm gonna to change it to heading two. Now what's important about this 
is that when I come over and I click on the tab and it expands out, you're going to see those headings are automatically populated as a table of contents. Another thing I want to talk about, I'm going to make it heading one. So you can see over here this table of contents is being automatically populated, which is really cool except you don't know that it's there. It's like a hidden feature. You have to click on it and you have to know to click on the tab over here and assuming that that whole thing is not hidden so that you can navigate to the different parts. Another cool thing that I really like that is kind of a new feature, so I'm going to right click and it's going to say copy heading link. So if you're using the headings, not only is that going to help you automatically build a table of contents, but it allows you to right click on that heading and copy the heading link. Now when you copy the heading link and you share it, not only does it take them to that specific tab, but it takes them to that specific spot. So it's a great way to direct students to exactly where you want to be in the Google Doc. Now I actually have my doc on pageless format and something I love about pageless format, besides the fact that there's no margins, no pages, I'm not going to print it. And warning, as of right now, when you do print, you print each tab. You cannot print the whole document with the tabs. I'm sure that will change at some point. But I have it on pageless. Now notice as I hover over each of the headings, because I went up here to the toolbar and I selected the headings, it's really important that you use headings, and I can collapse, make those sections smaller. So what that allows me to do is to make, the again, the page less overwhelming. I can collapse up a bunch of information, work on a certain section, re-expand it. Now this is a heading two and this is a heading one. So when I collapse heading two, everything under heading two is collapsed. Now this heading one, heading two is under heading one, so heading two actually gets hidden in with heading one. So make sure you really think about when you use pageless, this only works with pageless view format. I have page less, so now I have pages, you see that if I keep pushing enter, more, it's gonna go over onto another page. I'm on another page, select it as a heading. Now, when I switch this to format, switch to pageless, now when I scroll, it's on another page, but I can't tell that it's on another page. It just keeps going, and, I, and I'm gonna be able to collapse. Now, it doesn't look like this heading is collapsing because I don't have anything underneath it to collapse. So now that I have things to collapse, there we go. Really great ways to better organize up your Google Docs. I'm loving the tabs. I love the emojis, being able to add a sub tab, to move my tabs, to move it into, make it a sub tab, choose the emoji, and then copy the link to that tab, that very specific tab, so I can direct people right there.